We will never ever surrender to the woke mob. Florida is where woke goes to die. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis will announce he is seeking the Republican presidential nomination on Wednesday, placing him on a collision course with former U.S. President Donald Trump. DeSantis's political team has confirmed he will make the announcement on Twitter during a discussion with the social media company's CEO, Elon Musk, where he will also file a document with the Federal Election Commission declaring his candidacy. You have this lack of trust in the medical establishment. DeSantis, whose impassioned battles over pandemic lockdowns and divisive cultural issues have endeared him to conservatives, was handily re-elected to a second term as Florida's governor in November. His rising profile among Republicans and fundraising prowess likely makes him the biggest threat to Trump's hopes of once again winning the Republican nomination for the White House. You know, a corporatist would say that you have to give Disney everything at once. Well, in reality, uh, Disney was enjoying unprecedented privileges and subsidies. DeSantis has rebuffed critics, pushed his priorities through the legislature, and punished his enemies, picking a high-profile fight with Disney one of Florida's biggest employers. But if DeSantis hopes to defeat Trump, he will ultimately have to bring every possible anti-Trump voter he can into the fold. And even that might not be enough. The two men were close allies during Trump's four years in the White House. Trump endorsed him during his first campaign for governor. But as DeSantis' fortunes continued to rise after Trump left office, the former president's mood toward the governor turned sour. Trump has pilloried DeSantis' record as a governor and dubbed him Ron DeSanctimonious. DeSantis, in turn, will have to paint Trump as a candidate who cannot win a general election against Democratic President Joe Biden. He will have to win over Republicans turned off by Trump. DeSantis enters a fractured field, facing rivals such as Nikki Haley, Trump's former ambassador to the United Nations, and Tim Scott, a U.S. senator from South Carolina. Wrong of the latter. 